In this video, I'll show you how to add Google Forms responses to Notion automatically. So the idea here is whenever any form response is received into your Google Forms, automatically add that form details inside your Notion application. And we are going to do that by integrating Google Forms and Notion with the help of an automation software. So if you also want to set this automation for yourself, come with me and I will show you the whole process step by step. So this is my Google form and this is the Notion application where I'm going to collect all details. And firstly, I'm going to connect these two with the Pabli Connect, which is an amazing integration and automation software. I am already signed in into the software. So this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. You can create your free account in just two minutes where you will also get free task every month in your account in order to test such kind of amazing automation. Now, after reaching here, click on this blue button that is create workflow and provide any random name to your workflow to your automation okay so i'm providing the name something like when form response is received add responses to notion okay i'm providing this particular name now you will have to click on this create and then you will find two boxes in front of you so these are actually trigger and action so trigger means when this happens action means do this so whenever this happens then automatically do this understand with an example also whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application let's say then automatically send an email via gmail application and here according to our use case whenever the google forms is submitted whenever the form is submitted in to the google forms application then automatically collect the form details into the notion application okay so this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are about to build an automation in this case i'm building an automation in google forms and notion so that is why i have selected these two application now i am going to select a trigger event as new response is received because i want that as soon as a new response is received this automation should trigger okay now i'm going to connect the google forms with the public connect with the help of this webhook url so you will have to follow these instructions one by one okay so firstly copy this webhook url and for the connection i am going to use the spreadsheet of this particular form okay so this is the form and if you will go to the responses and if you will click on this view in sheet you will be able to access the sheet of this particular form which is actually associated with this particular form let me maximize it so that you can see the data very clearly. Okay, so I am going to build the connection in between Google Forms and Pabli Connect with this particular spreadsheet. Okay, so firstly, you'll have to open this spreadsheet, then click on this extension, click on add ons, then click on get add ons. And here you will have to search for the Pabli Connect to Webbooks add on. All right, so I have searched for the same and it is already installed into my account. But make sure firstly, you will have to install this add on. And after installing this add on, you'll have have to open this add-on from here you can see click on this initial setup then come back to Pabli connect copy this webhook url and then again go back to your spreadsheet and you will have to paste the very same url here inside this particular field okay now it is asking for the trigger column which is going to be the last data entry column of this particular spreadsheet okay so i have the last data column as g so i'll be adding this g here okay and you'll have to read the instructions as well the trigger Trigger column will be your final data column on which if the data is added, the whole of that row data will be sent to the webhook URL. Okay, so basically here we are actually specifying that on the filling of G column, this automation should send the data. Okay, so let me click on the send test button. But if I'll click on send test, a blank response will receive because I do not have any data. Okay, here you can see it will say that no data found in row 2. Okay, so let me first open this form and submit this form in front of you and then i will be clicking on the send test button all right so let me provide any random details in this form all right so i have filled the dummy details here you can see the name of the person is demo user demo at the rate pablituge.com again i have added a dummy phone number which place you would like to travel is the kerala number of people going to travel is two and number of days you are planning to travel is six okay clicking on this button uh, submit and then you will see the data will be captured inside this spreadsheet again open this pabli connects webhook add-on and then again i will be clicking on the send test button but let me first copy this here 
URL once again paste it here and then I will be clicking on this send test button and you will see this time the data will be sent to the Pabli connect all right it is saying the test data sent successfully let me click on the submit and let me uh, close it because the setup has been configured successfully all right coming back to Pabli connect and here you can see the response is received already and it is the same response which we have filled inside our form okay so here we have the demo user demo at the rate pablitudes.com kerala is the travel city here we have the number the trigger column okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the first step of our automation which was connecting google forms and pabli connect is working absolutely fine and here let me tell you a very important thing if you want that this automation should work automatically in real time you'll have to enable this particular option okay so send on event if you want that every time a form is submitted the data should get sent to Pabli connect automatically you will have to enable this option okay so let me show you the tick mark okay this option is now enabled and the second important thing is that whenever you are working with the forms or the google sheets with the Pabli connect make sure either you work in the incognito window or multiple gmail account should not be logged in at the same time okay i repeat either work in the incognito window or multiple gmail account should not be logged in coming back to Pabli connect and let me send this data to notion application and here you can see i have already searched for this application and this action event i will be selecting this create database item okay simply click on connect and then click on add a new click connection then click on connect with the notion and then i'm already logged in into my notion application so instead of asking me for the access it will pro it will ask me for the permission all right here you can see it as asking to select the pages okay so i am going to provide the access of all the pages especially the page which i have selected for all of all form submissions and inquiry okay click on allow access and this is how the authorization will be successful and your notion application will be connected with the pabli connect and here you can see it is connected and since we are connected all the databases which are available inside my notion application have started visible here you can see that uh, multiple uh, pages has been created here multiple pages have been created and all these are visible here only and the same page has got selected automatically okay here you can see all form submission and inquiries okay and in this particular page i have this name email number place number of days and number of people these same columns are visible here only number of people number of days uh, number of place and number email name content okay this content is the default column you can ignore that okay so i am going to provide the data one by one and from where i'm going to provide this data remember we have just received the response from our form i'm going to use this data and i don't need to manually copy this data and paste it here i'm going to map it and mapping is very simple inside pabli connect okay simply click on this particular field and you will find the above data here in the drop down you just need to select that specific data okay asking for the number of people so where where are the number of people okay number of people going to travel is two asking for number of days again open this particular field again open this particular drop down and search for the number of days so where are the number of days six okay so this is how i am going to map the data in all the fields one by one Alright, so I have mapped the data in all the fields and you must be thinking that what is this mapping, okay? So whatever the details we have mapped from the above data response, from the above step response, these details will automatically be replaced when this automation will work in real time. So what will happen in the next time? When new form submission will made, the data will be collected by Pabli Connect instantly because this trigger here is instant and then that new data will replace these existing values this is how this automation is going to take place and that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation now i'll be clicking on this button save and send test request and you will see how this data will be collected automatically inside our notion okay so this is how now onwards every time someone is going to fill this form this travel inquiry form the details the form submission details will be collected via your notion application and to automate this process you need to create this automation inside public 
connect just once after that you can sit back and relax because pably connect will take care of all the task in the back end you do not have to do anything manually just in case if you want to access this automation i will also attach the shareable link of my workflow into the description box you just need to click on that link and sign up into the pably connect and then you will be able to access this workflow inside your pably connect account that to for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pably connect you can ask your queries at forum.pably.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pably connect and for the latest updates of pably connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video